In this video we're going to talk about Wonder Studio by Wonder Dynamics. They can take stuff filmed on a single camera like this and compose, light and animate photo reel and stylize CGI characters. This is quite good. Let's go deeper. The information on this is somewhat limited, so I'm going to be using my trusty iPad and going through one in information that there is available. It's basically a VFX studio in your browser, is the way they are portraying this. It's been reported on by Hollywood Reporter, Variety, Deadline. There's some very big studios and people behind this. I'm going to try and put a demo in right now. Now, this is going to depend on whether I get a copyright strike. If I get a copyright strike, there will be no video, and then just go to the link down there or up there. Let's have a look at their video. They say all great stories start with a sense of wonder. And what if bringing those stories to life wasn't limited by our resources, but only by our imagination? Welcome to Wonder Studio, where making movies with CGI is as simple as selecting your actor and assigning a character. The system uses AI to track the actor's performance across cuts and automatically animates, lights, and composes the CG character directly into the scene. Whether it's one shot or a full sequence, Wonder Studio analyzes and captures everything from body motion, lighting, compositing, camera motion, and it even tracks the actor's facial performance. All the artist needs is a camera. Filmmaking is a medium of creativity and collaboration between artists. There's no AI that can replace that. Wonder Studio was built to empower those artists while still keeping the existing 3D process in mind. Alongside the rendered results, Wonder Studio gives you the ability to export the individual layers you need to deliver your final visual effects shot. Whether it's lighting, camera, or animation, you can maintain full control and make detailed adjustments in 3D space. From the paintbrush, to the typewriter, to the camera, tools have always been an extension of the artist, a means to help our voices be heard. With Wonder Studio, we hope the world hears yours. What they say is, there is no need to work shop by shop. You can upload your CG character model to one shot or an entire scene. The system will automatically detect cuts and track the actor throughout the scene. Now, the one thing I'm thinking here is, is this automatically rigging the character or does it assume that you have a rigged character and skin character already? That's rather important and what's been used to render it. No need for heavy frame by frame VFX work. The system automatically detects an actor's performance based on single camera footage and then it takes the performances and transfers it to the CG character of your choice. Or automatically animated, lit and composed. Now if this is matching the lighting perfectly and it looks pretty damn good from what I'm seeing on these images, that's really interesting on its own. It's doing full body mocap, retargeting, lighting and composition. Apparently it adapts to 89% of uh, pipelines and leaves the artist with remaining subjective work which can be exported in the software they already use. Now what they term subjective work, it doesn't really say. You can export dis different elements so you can have the, uh, the final render the motion capture pass, the character pass, an alpha pass, clean plate, which is quite interesting if it's automated because that will cut down a lot of comp work and the main comp and stuff like this. And they've got so easy an alien could do it. Well, that's not really saying anything. If you tell a toddler, I'd be more impressed. It says, say goodbye to complicated 3D software and the time consuming learning curve. So it's basically dumbing things down. There's two founders, the co-founder and president is Ty Sheridan, the co-founder and CEO, and I apologise if I'm murdering your name if you saw the last video, as many of you did, you know that names that aren't simple are not my fault here. So it's Nikola Todovaric? Todorovic? Something like that. Now the advisory board has a number of people, probably the biggest name of the whole lot on there is Steven Spielberg. So you've got Spielberg's backing and he's on the advisory board as well. 
the fact you can create sci-fi worlds by uh, signing multiple characters. I think a lot of them have been done from what I can see here by Aaron Sims Corporation. They do a lot of stuff for a lot of films. So these are going to be good quality char characters that they use for examples. So what are Vesta's are on board? Samsung, Capital Factory, Mac, Founders Fund, Horizon Ventures and Epic Games. So there you go, there's some big people backing this. Making hard VFX shots a thing of the past. Well, see, the thing is, there's not a lot of information about this at the moment. While it could be used for a lot of shots, and I've got no reason to doubt what they're saying, there will always be problem stuff. It says, give it your own style. Well, it's... I need more information on that, really. And it says you can upload your own 3D model or use some of our free characters from the artist community. Well, the thing is, again, do you need them to be rigged or not? Or is it just, he's a model it'll rig it automatically because there's already stuff out there that will do basic rigging. So what's my take on this? The one thing I notice on there is there is an example on the site of it tracking hand movements, right? However, the hands are basically just somebody doing this. That is a lot easier to track than somebody doing this or playing piano or guitar or something more complicated with the hands. That is what I'd like to see. How good is it? The same with the facial motion capture. How good is it? Is it just using a fax system where it's intelligently matching ish some of the expressions or is it able to do capture more extreme expressions or more subtle things that is very 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 important so what i think about the tool as a whole well to be perfectly frank yeah it's going to cost some jobs but there's no universe where ai is not going to cost jobs also i think that automation has been a part of vfx for a long time i remember the days when if you wanted to read to apologize stuff you had to go and mire and manually draw every single bloody polygon so now we have automatic remeshing and all this stuff stuff like substance i remember the days of hand texture and everything <laughs> so there's always a new tool will it open things up yeah i think it will but if you were expecting a sudden increase in Hollywood quality films, you won't. Because it's not the rendering or the animation or the compositing or even the lighting. It's the eye. It's the reason why I could take my setup now, give it to Steven Spielberg. We could go on the same set with the same script and his version would win an Oscar. And mine would be, oh, well, it's all right. Because some directors have a certain eye am i saying that you have to be a hollywood director no no i think there's plenty of people out there that equally have just as good an eye however the vast majority of people do not they don't understand things like repeating shapes frame the shot lighting lighting's really important and notice the difference in these videos from when i first started when it was just filmed upstairs with whatever daylight was coming in through the window I like to think it looks a bit better now. Now, before we say anything else, I do want to thank everybody for watching the last video on Glaze. It was the most viewed video I've had on this channel for well over a year. And I think when I looked last night, it was hitting 1,100 views. Now, bear in mind, the first 20 episodes of this series, I was lucky if I was hitting 60 views. That's quite an improvement. But anyway, going back on the stuff like this, there's a lot of things coming forward now. Also, Adobe uh, are about to release their version of an AI art software, generation software. Their one is different. They have not farmed every image on the internet. They are only using what is in the Adobe stock library. In fact, they're very vocal about being against the massive farming of images. Yeah, it's Adobe. They have access to all sorts of stuff and they're on about making sure that people can either opt in or out, that creators do get some sort of recompense for this. So it's steps in the right direction. And it's nice to see a big company like Adobe doing stuff like that. Although, we've still got a long way to go. If you didn't watch the last video on Glaze, it'll be popping up there. The software that claims to be able to protect your images from being found by AI bots. Although, I did notice in the comments, some people are saying there's already a workaround. So what would that take? Less than two weeks? Also want to apologise for not getting a video up last week. I had a massive migraine and funny enough, sitting in front of a huge softbox and an LED light with a migraine is not good. I normally try to get these up about once every seven to ten days, depending on what's happening in life. I'm recording a few back to back today because I've got a busy few weeks ahead. But anyway, have a look at the video on Glaze and I will see you all next time. I'm Wayne Robson, this is Life After 3D. Bye bye.